Hi and welcome to my cafeteria ordering system. Um, I have a group box as my container. I have one main group box as the parent container then I have uh, two more group boxes. The first group box you see here contains include all of the drinks that you can order. Okay, And here that's where we get the subtotal VAT or tax whatever you might want to call it then uh, the total right there up here you have where you include how many drinks you want if you're taking out or not if you want to take out check that and just select whatever kind of drink you want and click on calculate and that's what you get if you or if you have a next customer just click gone the next customer select cappuccino enter how many drinks customer wants click calculate you can see the VAT is zero because this has not been checked supposing it's checked and that is what you get but you ended up with this lump sum so the best best is for you just to clear that enter how many drinks you want select cappuccino click on that and there you get your payment right okay so supposing you have not selected anything you enter whatever amount in there check this and you click on that you end up with this message oops please select a drink okay and you select your drink calculate just like that all right so the next now do now is just to take you straight into the development environment show you have put this together i will not be developing the interface but i will show you what each of the components are okay let's come in here right here right here we have as follows okay let's take it back up we have group box right there let's move this in so that you can see that we have a group box another group box here and within the group box I have my radio buttons you can see the names of the radio buttons right there the first one is RAD cappuccino RAD espresso you can also see it up there latte ice latte ice cappuccino right there then I have the quantity text box there checkbox as the name button as the name of the button btn calculate and I also have btn player right here I have where my item amount is displayed it's a label and here I have my subtotal as the name lbl subtotal then i also have lbl total i have right here lbl total this one is supposed to be lbl tax there and that's all there is to it if you double if i double click on this command button right here the first thing i did was to declare the following variables let's get rid of this I declare the following variables right here okay. declare those variables I suppose you can see it then this right here is to clear that is just to clear or reset the whole content that's my clear button right there and here calculate and that is just to calculate the drinks that are purchased right there okay come down and you see that take it up okay that's just the calculation for the drinks okay so if you guys need this program I can always email it to you okay there's one more thing I left out right here I have a function just for the tax right there but there's one more thing that is left out let's just get that sorted 
and there all we need to say is application let exit and that'll be all for this brief tutorial so let me just demonstrate it to you guys one more time enter whatever amount in there select ice, ice lot and latte and just check out how much it's gonna cost and that's all there is to it reset espresso take out calculate and that's how you develop your own brief ordering system thank you